Hello and welcome back to Fresh Bandicoot 2. If you're truly know this video, you're mad. I know the first servant of the Spiffening Level 10 2 boxes, Mad and Cutest Rocky 2013, and all around guy. Now, I'm gonna do how to behave. Because I really need this purple crystal. It's important to me. Also, this is important to me. Yeah. Let me get out of here again. Oh, we're jumping. Right. Guess that makes sense. Ah. Bees! It always has to be bees. Just run away from the bees. The bees are not safe. Um, if I remember correctly, this uh, level had multiple options for... Well, I think there were two levels of bees. So if any luck, this might be an easier one than what I had in mind. When I think of B level. Of course, this may very well be a difficult B level that I am thinking of. In which case, oh shit, oh shit, no, please no. Oh, sir. That guy is an asshole. Let's not play with that guy. Also, bees. Bees! Uh, luckily for me, the bees were distracted. Punch the bees. Isn't that how you get rid of bees? That's how I get rid of bees. They usually sting me afterwards, but that guy kind of leaves their guts on the floor, so it's fine. Yeah. Oh. Well, um, this is obvious, right? A nice painted stair. So yeah, they do and did enjoy making uh, difficult to guess areas at times because you wouldn't actually expect to have to walk on nitros, would you? No. The only thing can get away was the fact that the... Uh, well... Nitros pounce. Like that. Oops. I, I suspect there might be something relevant in that area as well, other than the purple crystal. I feel there might be something at the end, so, something like the nitro kill switch. So I dare not try and complete that area. Oh, let's go check it out. Um, anyway, I'm gonna it as it goes. Actually, I'm gonna take thoughts. I'm gonna see if maybe there is nothing relevant still there. And maybe I can just go to finish. And get all the boxes on the way there. Instead of having to hope for... something else. Oh well. I think I got potted. Unlike in that uh, uh, new game that was supposed to be kind of light crash, uh, this game does not have it so that when crash becomes bigger, he becomes stronger. When he becomes bigger, he kind of dies. Because he was stung by a million bees. Gills. No one likes being stung by a million bees. Well. This is very much an area of god damn it I need to move. But I did. Just fine. Right, can I just get these now? Yeah I can. And then we have two jewels. Which takes us to a slow motion jump to a safe zone. And the checkpoint. Nice. 
Right. Uh, Rush to get free has a counter on how many boxes are still left in the level. Rush Bandicoot 1 did not have a counter for how many boxes you've collected. So it's kind of weird to see how the game has come along in the way of uh, convenience for collecting all the boxes. Rush Bandicoot 3 did not require you to finish a level to know how many boxes were in a level. This one does. That damn it. Mucked up my bounce, yo. There we go. So if nothing else, I will be able to get the red gem, purple gem from here, which uh, is enough to name the level and is also enough to guarantee that I can get into purple crystal areas, of which we have yet to see one. There is that. Can I get it from underneath? Yeah. Look, I think I got a lot of Moopa fruits when I went in and getting from underneath. Fuck off, please. No scrub. In fact, I am no scrub, there was nothing uh, relevant in the end of the level. In the bonus zone. In the purple gem zone, even. Alright, give me that. And that. <gasps> and that. Excellent. Now we have behaved well. We can carry on with our future endeavors through the mysterious lands. Of um, well, there's a few options, isn't there? I think digging it was another one of those uh, B levels. So maybe you can go check that out. But if it is, I think it's the one with the death ride. Oh, and it wasn't a convenient death ride either, I can tell you that much. Yeah, I think the only two levels of this type were in fact on this particular map, so... When I say map, I mean... Uh, floor. Warp room, whichever. Alright. Keep on moving. Uh, there's no bees yet. So, things aren't too bad in that regard. If I remember correctly, that guy just keeps pushing you forward and doesn't really cause you much harm unless you have a hole behind you. Or anything else of a deadly nature. Okay. And keep moving. But yes, I think it, this is the one with the death ride. And it was the most, most frustrating death ride indeed. Or it required um, me to go in another direction as well. Ah, yes, it is indeed that level. Uh, let's make sure I don't use all my masks in this area over here, because that would be silly. That would be incredibly silly. Alright, get that. That, and that. Oh. God damn it, I'm not gonna get that. There was no life in this one. I failed myself. Oh well, at least I had got the life from something else. Also, I should not have picked up the checkpoint because that checkpoint is going to, would have been extremely useful for when I returned. For returned, I would have had to. 
Oh well. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to do it another way. Uh, no need to chase me, B. You can just let me be. Ha, ha, ha. That was horrendous. That's horrendous. That's who I am. Yay. Get those boxes. I don't remember how far I have to go before I need to go start going back. <laughs> I think it might have been this checkpoint. I'm just gonna go look ahead and look. I can't spin away that. A shame. I'm starting to suspect that. Maybe, just maybe. Start going back now. Yeah, that could work. Still wish I had kept the checkpoint there. Because I did not. I did in fact not keep a checkpoint. Which may be a problem. Which is proven to be a problem. Uh, so this is a one beehive area, which means that if a bee gets close, I can kill it. As observed, but here. Okay, uh, don't jump to my death. Would be excellent. Oh, 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 oh. oh. We, we survived that, but not that. Oh, shite. Because I did not keep the checkpoints, I'm gonna have to do that all over again. I'm just going to check over here to be sure. That this area is in fact already safe for transit. Yeah, this, see? This is where the death platform will take me. So you can in fact head back right now. In fact, I think from this direction there's only one B in the way, so... Maybe it's smarter to just, um... Only risk that B... B... Instead of the whole mess. So let's just stop going back. Yeah. Alright. The problem is that the bees follow me outside of what I expect their comfort zone to be, so I ex kind of get confused. See? Not too far outside their comfort zone, but still, ever so slightly. Alright, now I'm actually on the death platform, again. Oh well. There's no way this can go wrong. None at all. Except for the 112 million ways that this can go wrong. Those are just details. Wait. They're like boxes if you break them like that. But only if you break them like that. Otherwise they're evil. Oh. Come on. I don't know if they actually do anything if you just uh, get on their side. But this is the safest way. It also gets you a ton of apples. Or... Move before us anyway. Oof. God. Let's be damned. And luckily the game had a mask for that point, oh, but still. I would have preferred to do that flawlessly. 
sadly, that is not the opportunity given to me. What is it? Oh, for fuck's sake! That was so damn close last time. Well, here we have a checkpoint, so that's one nightmare over with. Except, well, in case you discount this particular nightmare here. Oh, hello. I didn't know you actually traveled that way, B. But he did you, so maybe. Just go to the war zone and don't really worry too much about anything else. Ah. There we go. Finally, that's that over with. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I did eventually decide that I will actually not go back to the B area, so we don't need to go further back, so we can do that. Keep going. Alright, uh, a problem here is that I kind of want to come back here. There's a friend here. Friend I need to slay. That guy. I need to get on that platform. It takes me to the rooftop. And the rooftop is important. As some of you may be aware. So if I mean to do this level in one particular single run, I will need to run through this minefield in reverse. Actually I don't. I need to die. I just need to go there. Oh seriously? I thought that exploded ages ago. Apparently not. Apparently that explosion was recent enough for me to die. Huh. Let's that. That's a particularly odd place for one of those, isn't it? I suppose it is back, uh, impossible to backtrace from there to the death platform if need. If such a need had a reason. God damn it, I keep getting shot. No, don't shoot me. Put, lay down your guns, plants. Lay down your seeds elsewhere. They're kinda explosive. That's really a problem not too effective. Well actually that would be probably very very effective. It really depended on the way that those plants actually delivered this stuff. Die. Okay, uh, all the quick. There's one box missing. There is one box missing. What the hell? Where the hell is that one box? Oh! I think I remember. Uh, at least I think I remember. Please tell me this isn't too far back. It's not too far back. Okay. I should have jumped once, maybe. No, there's nothing here. God, I'm, okay, I'm not getting all the boxes anyway, so... I will need to return here eventually. But, uh, not quite this... Uh, for fuck's sake, how does... Uh, I am... Not entirely sure when it actually decides that it's fine to land in that area and when not. I have landed worse than that before. My apples! My cabbages!
Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we'll go back to Road to Ruin to the rooftop. Next time on Crash Bandicoot 2. I don't rem remember where the boxes were. That was one. That was another. I think that was the last one.